Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what I eat in a week. I realized in the last two and a half years, I've been <laughs> sharing so many what I eat in a day videos, never what I eat in a week. So here we go. So I actually didn't have lunch yet. So with the leftovers in my kitchen, I'm prepping a quick arugula salad, with some grilled zucchini, chickpeas, bacon, ricotta, and avocado. Little strange combination, but very delicious. So I'm gonna do some meal prepping for tonight. I found this big butternut squash, so I'm going to make a butternut squash soup, which will last for the next couple of days in the fridge. Also, I'm making my homemade granola, which I love so much. I pop up the recipe here again. <laughs> and there's Max, stealing some granola. <laughs> Good morning. So obviously I start every day with drinking a bottle of water to stay hydrated. This is followed by my morning matcha. And this is such an important step in my routine. Matcha gives me loads of clean and good energy. It contains caffeine, but it's a different kind of coffee. That's why you don't feel jitters or feel dehydrated afterwards. Ah, so good. Let's start making my morning smoothie. I use half an avocado, cacao powder, some protein powder, one cup of frozen spinach, cinnamon, vanilla extract, coconut oil, and almond milk. I blend everything together and I add a little granola on top and it's ready. I am going to try out this Yume sparkling water with plum juice and plum puree. I got it at the Asian store last week. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, this lunch time. I have here some of the pumpkin soup from yesterday, which I'm going to warm up. I also got this delicious bread from Juusta. Once we buy one, we finish with in a couple of days because it's so good. I'm making a little avocado toast. I know it's basic, but I could literally have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is lunch, butternut squash soup with avocado toast on the side. I'm also going to add some dukkha, which is uh, an Egyptian spice mix. Mm. End of the afternoon, I'm already starting to prep the rice in my rice cooker for dinner. I love this so much because I don't have to keep an eye on it and it just keeps my rice fresh and warm. It's probably the best purchase so far in my kitchen. So I'm eating a little hummus with cucumber snack before dinner and then I start cooking. For tonight, I'm prepping some cauliflower with turmeric in the oven. Brown rice is ready and I'm grilling some salmon. I serve this with some beets, fermented sauerkraut and an avocado smash. And our bowl is ready. When I don't know what to eat, I always end up with roasted veggies, rice and a protein. For breakfast, I'm going to make this pumpkin spice smoothie bowl. I add one frozen banana into a cup, I add some ice cubes, about 3 quarter cup pumpkin puree, one tablespoon of almond butter, half a cup of oats, vanilla extract, pumpkin spice and oat milk. Mix everything together and add it to a bowl. I added a little too much milk, so it's a little liquidy. I top it up with some granola, pumpkin spice and almond butter. And breakfast is ready. Yum. So I got some work done this morning um, and this is lunchtime, it is 1.15 and I'm just gonna look what I have in the fridge, it's probably, we still have some like of that sourdough bread left and I'm probably just gonna make like a little salad or something. For lunch I'm prepping a very simple salad with some cucumber, tomatoes, feta cheese, fresh herb, like cilantro, mint. So I always feel that the dressing really makes a salad. And I got this amazing Brightland basil olive oil and it's so, so delicious. I'm gonna add a little of this on here. And I'm adding some olive oil with a lemon squeeze. So I have this piece of bread and I'm going to put some garlic alioli on here. I really like this from Primal Kitchen. 
made out of avocado oil and eggs and not with cream and everything and it's very delicious so i'm gonna add this on the thing. lunch is ready so i got like just a green salad with some feta cucumber and i got like a piece of toast with garlic alioli so something i also kind of like wanted to talk about was kind of like body positivity and like relationship with food and stuff because i get often like so many messages from you on like instagram about like how can you feel confident in your body or like what do you weigh your food or like what do you eat or can i eat carbs and i think i've always had like a pretty healthy relationship with food however though when i started modeling a lot and i was traveling all the time i would barely eat carbs and i think this had actually a lot to do with i would eat like a lot of like protein and greens and stuff but i would literally avoid any type of carb and i think this had really to do with kind of the industry i was in because the skinnier the better and like it's, it's kind of like messed up because when you were looking extremely skinny sometimes after you know so many work days and like barely eating because you were just so busy people would be like girl you look amazing and that it is kind of messed up the really good thing i find though is that that's kind of changing in the industry but yeah i feel i've definitely incorporated way more carbs because a female body especially does really need that you need carbs so like bread, rice and those things. I've been trying to take a bite of this salad for a long time now. <laughs> I think that's very important. And honestly, don't be too strict on yourself. Also spoil yourself sometimes. If you want to eat chocolate, eat some chocolate. If you want to eat something really delicious, just do it. Like just make sure like you proportion it well or like the next day you eat something more like healthy. So I think this is very important that you need food, you deserve food. Like your body needs all the nutrients and protein and like greens and carbs and you really need to figure out like what kind of diet works for you this is how i balance this out i just wanted to say that as a little snack before my workout i am gonna have this go macro bar coconut almond butter and chocolate chips it's like a vegan bar all righty guys it is 6 30 max not even home yet um and i'm going to make some dinner i'm just like listening to a podcast which is really really nice while i'm cooking i just love this moment of the day i just really get in my own space i still haven't made it to to the store yet so hopefully we can do that tomorrow hello what are you gonna make chicken teriyaki with brown rice and some veggies you make the table? Yes. So for dinner, we have brown rice with some, I don't know, this is some like seasoning I got in Japan. Never tried it before, hope it's yummy. We got teriyaki chicken, it's just like some grilled chicken with soy sauce, ginger, sesame seed oil, garlic, sesame seeds. We got some zucchini, roasted carrots, and broccolini. Look at this big plate. And this is dinner for tonight. So for dessert, I'm having a tea with some honey and who kitchen cashew butter chocolate. So, so good. What are you doing there? Uh, as I enthusiastically look for nothing but ice cream. Magic ice cream! Good morning! It is Wednesday today. I'm going to make some breakfast. It is um, 8.45. Going to drink some water. Oh, it's kind of cold today and like gloomy. So I'm kind of craving something like warm. And something I've been like obsessed with is this fruit, persimmon, which is a very like fall fruit. You guys have seen in my what I eat in a day, this chai oatmeal recipe. So that's what I'm going to have today as well. You can find a full instruction video in my latest what I eat in a day on how to make this persimmon chai oatmeal. It's honestly one of my favorite oatmeal porridges at the moment.
this recipe. So, so good. So, I finally did some groceries today. On the way, we were starving, so we picked up some Mendocino Farms. It has like sandwiches and salads and stuff. And I got a chicken sandwich. The best sandwich in town. This is a ciabatta sandwich with chicken. Then there is something, I don't know, they call this a no-fried chicken. So there's no fried chicken, but <laughs> there's something else crispy in there. Alioli and tomato. It's super, super yummy. Mm. Look at this, guys. <laughs> okay, so this is perfectly measured right there. <laughs> oh, that scared me too, because so many things have not fit in. Cross fingers, it is going to fit, you never know. Tonight is going to be Netflix and chill. Shout out to my favorite Trudon candles. So we don't order like a lot of food, but when we do, it's mostly from Ali's fish company. <laughs> it's like in a weird spot. Oh, I've showed this in a previous vlog, but it's really good. So it should be here in like 30 minutes, I guess. I present you the best poke bowl ever. Edamame, avocado, ponzu salmon, and tuna. And there is like brown rice underneath. So we actually never like, maybe in the weekends, but hang out on the couch, watch TV and eat. But today, today is one of those days, huh? Because I was waiting in the cold all day. So we just started watching the queen. The crown. <laughs> oh, the crown. <laughs> There's a queen in there. <laughs> I got siete chips and Max eats this fancy sweet potato chip from Air One. After this, I'm gonna go to bed. See you guys tomorrow. So I just finished my morning workout and I'm going to have my avocado smoothie again. I'm not gonna do the full breakdown again because I feel you guys have seen it now. I have recently been using this one from Wealthy. It is super clean and this is like a collagen protein. I also like to use this one from Bridal Protein sometimes. This will keep me full for the next like two hours. <laughs> so we'll see you guys for lunch. I'm adding chickpeas to a baking sheet and I add some paprika powder, salt, pepper and olive oil. I'm also roasting some butternut squash in the oven for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, I add the leftover cauliflower to the salad and make a veganese dressing. Then I add the butternut squash, the chickpeas, a little olive oil, avocado and hemp seeds for extra protein. I add one scoop of brown rice and add some beets and my fall veggie bowl is ready. So for tonight, I really didn't feel like cooking. So I sauteed some zucchini with mushrooms and I'm just going to make some eggs. So this is super simple dinner. I was not feeling like cooking a lot. Grilled zucchini, scrambled eggs with her avocado. And some salad. Mm. My favorite chocolate is finished. So I made a little chai tea with honey and oatmeal. And then we got this one, dark chocolate. For breakfast today, I'm feeling pancakes. <laughs> I wanted something warm, something like sweet. So I'm going to use like the protein pancakes I shared in a video earlier this month. You can watch this one together with Sammy. So I'm going to grab the ingredients with like almond flour and eggs. It's kind of like a keto recipe. Coconut oil. I'm gonna make some pancakes.
Okay, so this is my breakfast of today. Two pancakes with some ricotta, um, with some maple syrup and lemon. So it's like a lemon ricotta, it's so delicious. And this is about two eggs and like one cup of almond flour. Mm. This is delicious. Mm. I don't make pancakes that often, but delicious. I also put some protein powder in there, so protein pancakes. snack is ready so yesterday after i had breakfast we were so busy with shooting all day that i just forgot to eat and in the evening we were so hungry we got so much sushi delivered and it was just so delicious from sushi del rey that i just totally forgot to vlog and we were just eating we were so full so this morning i made like a miso oatmeal porridge which is going to be up on the channel soon because this recipe was so delicious i'm having just a little snack right now which is coconut wrap with egg avocado and spinach i hope you guys enjoy watching like today's video kind of what i eat in a week there are i think still like some snacks and like things that i haven't completely included in the video and filmed because you know i'm like always on the go and like doing so much and i sometimes just like kind of forget but i hope this was kind of like a realistic view of what i eat in a week so if you have any questions for me then leave me a comment down below also don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned on all new videos love you